So we're here with MV4D. Who are you? Yeah, I am Moshe Karako. I'm a director of marketing of Mantis Vision. And we are here to show a development platform called MV4D SDK. There's a color channel, there's an infrared channel. And if, for example, I'm shooting this chair and I press here, we will have this chair in 3D. Whoa. In real time. In real time? Yeah. Let me just see behind. What's this tablet? This is special, no? Yeah, you have like a, a strobe flash for uh, infrared. One second. A strobe flash? Down yeah. Right. For infrared. And you have a near infrared camera. Okay. And uh, working with the, with the algorithm, you can create 3D in real time. Let's do Can you do me in 3D? Can you record me? I can scan. Try. Yeah, and, I uh, can scan. Let, let's around. Let's scan around here. Let's scan around the people around here, the convention. It's going to be. Yeah. We can scan this guy, for example. Somehow I'm being, yeah, I'm being scared. Been and we can here. see him from all angles, although I'm, I'm only standing here. Really we can see him from every angle. Can you scan by moving so around the object? Uh, I am registered. Oh, it it? Yeah, I can do that, but it's not, it's not uh, right now. It's not working right now. It's an offline process. The real time is the SDK. For example, we can see, we can see this table and we can walk around it. Or, for example, I can shoot the floor and from a picture we have a surface. That's really fast way of uh, making 3D. Yeah, so, it's, it's real time. Yeah. Yeah. And I can show you a few applications we made uh, with information that we scanned. Is this your app? Yeah, this is the, the app that in the giveaway that we are giving this show. It's called 3D Pop. And actually, it works like this. You have a girl and she's making a makeup. And I can extract the girl out. Sorry. I can extract the girl out to be 3D. And I can put her back in to the movie. This is crazy. You do and that kind of stuff, but is it? This has to I be can filmed. do one more thing. I can, it's only it works I if can, it's filmed with this tablet. With this I can crop right? her out. I can decide that I'm leaving only part of her. Oh, everything. This is really awesome. And this, she has to be filmed with this system, right? Exactly. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah. Sure. All right. So, is this uh, Tango? No, it's the same technology inside Tango, but this is not a Tango SDK, this is Mantis Vision SDK. So do you make Tango? We are the technology inside Tango, but Tango is wrapping our SDK with their own SDK. Google is wrapping Mantis Vision SDK with the uh, uh, Tango SDK. So some of the features are not implemented and you need to use our SDK if you want to do more advanced things. What is Mantis Vision? Mantis Vision is a, is a startup company based in Israel. And uh, uh, what is the idea? This is the idea. This is, what the, this is the product, the first product you do? Yeah, this is, the core technology is the structured light. The, the way to get an infrared image or any image to be extracted to 3D in real time. We had a longer, longer uh, history working uh, in a forensic area, in uh, CSI systems. And in the past two years, we moved to, uh, to doing it in consumer devices. So you're a real CSI company. You're the real, you're the real thing. Uh, this is what we did in the past nine years. With CSIs, only in Israel or everywhere? Well, forensic, around the world. Actually, our first customers was the, the NSA. NSA. So you, yeah. you built a system that people complain about. I'm joking. We but built systems to, to scan. It was in Afghanistan. It was in Gaza. It was in uh, uh, South Korea. Scanning faces? Or? No, scanning for a large environment and tunnels and villages and uh, uh, tanks and whatever. And we decided at some point to take this technology and give it to the masses. This is a good idea. Yeah. You have to give it to the masses. And so this is uh, potentially also going to be useful for indoor positioning. Because if you don't have beacons, maybe you can still recognize where you are. Well, right? this is where, where ta Tango, where, this is where Google is taking this. At they least like ATAP, that, right? Google ATAP, the guys that uh, build uh, Tango. Uh, they're taking it to indoor navigation, augmented reality, uh, um, 
all, all kind of things that related to position location and, or, or, or position estimation. So they're putting a bunch of resources into that, I hope. Yeah. They they're making it work. On that. Yeah. Because they, this is, could be like kind of like a, a part of a, a, everybody can make street view for maps. Everybody is going around with their phones, Google future Earth, phones. Google Earth for the indoors as well. Health? Google Earth. Earth indoors. indoors. Indoor Earth. Yeah. But everybody can take their phone and adding information to exactly. a new street map, to exactly. a new street view. But with the, with, our, with Mantis Vision SDK, you can take scan people and put them like inside, inside the matrix. How much data is it? Well, it's not, it's it's not like a lot a of data. It's like a picture plus a little bit more? No, it's like a 2D movie with a, a, a layer of, of 3D information. How much is this layer? Is not so much? It depends on what the quality that you need. This can be configurable. And uh, right now, you said that you don't do right now video, we just walk around, but how much do you need to make that work? Just walking around anywhere, just adding everything into a 3D model. That depends on what you're keeping, what you decide to keep. You can keep the meshed environment, the stitch environment, you can keep every frame, you can keep uh, every second frame. That depends on what is the application. For example, in order to scan your full body 360, okay? I can do it in, uh, in uh, like 20 or 50 mega of data. And uh, right here at the booth, uh, can you, uh, you, you, you're giving out these uh, cardboards. The same application that, that you saw, the same application that I saw, the 3D pop, can be scanned, can download using the, and scan the QR code. Then you put your phone inside, inside this, and then you can walk inside and see from many angles you can see the, the, the information. This is just demo, just a, just a promotion from the, for this show. How about a gamer who wants to scan this exhibition hall and start doing a 3D first person shooter here? And scan the people as well and use them as avatars inside. Yes, exactly. How soon? Exactly. Well, we're working on that right now. We're working with the Qualcomm Euphoria. On With what, sorry? Qualcomm Vuforia. Qualcomm? Vuforia. Vuforia is okay. the augmented reality software team inside Google Adrian Qualcomm. We're working with Google, not only Tango, but other teams in Google. We work with few tier one OEMs to get this, uh, this uh, hardware inside a mobile phone. What's the CPU here? This is now Dragon 801. 801, so has a hardware acceleration for what you do a little bit? No, or? we just use the, uh, one of the four uh, ARM cores inside. So it's just ARM stuff? Yeah, just ARM stuff. The Tango, which CPU is in Tango? The Tango is uh, NVIDIA Tegra K1. And it's also, when it does this stuff, it's also using the ARM core, that's it? No, on, on uh, Tango we use the GPU. The Kepler? Yeah, this so is this because th this was their decision. We are completely portable. That means that uh, the, the ODM or the OEM can decide uh, what need to be left free and what is a uh, formatist vision, we can cooperate. This is the future of Android, no? This, this is the here? future of making content. The, the next generation content people that make, you know that people, what, what people do today is actually taking pictures and, and, and share it. This is what people do. And it's just flat, it's just 2D. Yeah. Uh, they don't share how far everything was in the picture. Exactly. You have to kind of like psychovisually guess. Exactly. And what we will able to do, we are able to do is just extract the 3D out and you see it from different directions. And of course there's a lot of things to do with that besides taking picture. For example, the data is very accurate. That means you can use it for online retail. For example, you can measure your shoes or your fingers to measure for a ring. So nice. online retail is very big in this area and we have few partners on the online retailers that are really interested in this technology because this is actually a measurement tool. So you measure a guy and then you custom build a suit, like a, a, suit a tailor can just... Well, you know that there are not many cells of rings in the world because yeah. rings have to fit very, very, very tight to, to the finger. Yeah. You can miss a lot by one or two millimeters. So it would know exactly its size of stuff. Exactly. It, it knows. It, like taking a snapshot. Because it knows exactly how far the, the, the infrared is from the camera on the tablet Because the data is very, very accurate. Every frame that we shoot, we have exact sub-millimeter accuracy of the points located along the area. How many people and how many guys in your company? Well, there are 50 people in Mantivision, uh, most of them in Israel, a few in Switzerland, and sales in uh, South Korea. What do the Swiss guys do? Uh, they do uh, Unity-based demos, like the one that you just saw. So they're doing uh, Unity, which is uh, Unreal Engine? Yeah. 
or the other one, something like no, this, is an engine? They build a, a rendering, rendering software based on Unity for uh, demos or for uh, to show uh, what this technology is capable to do. But in general, we open the API and we open the SDK so all the developer community can develop on top of this. Has lots of people been interested here at the conference? Are yeah. you busy every day? Yeah, yeah, it was very busy here. Talking with, uh, I'm guessing you're talking maybe with hardware makers who want to differentiate and who want to integrate these technologies course, in their, yeah. make but, the next kind of, next generation of hardware. But, Even but though it's a software the, focus, the focus, at least at this exhibit, is, is let the developers create the ecosystem for this and we are closing the OEM side. So the OEM will bring this inside a mobile phone. But we need a lot of ecosystem, a lot of, of applications that use this, this hardware. So this is, the, this is what we're promoting here. And, uh, and a bunch of people have patents somewhere? Yeah, the core patent of Mantis Vision is the structured light, the format of the, of the 3D data. This is what we license to the OEM. This is it possible to lock Apple out of this so they don't get it? I'm Apple joking. bought Prime Sense last year. So oh, they do? They did for this purpose. So they are like our competitor for this matter. All right, so good luck in uh, getting Apple out of the way. Or oh, I'm joking. <laughs> we'll see. Well, they can ignite the market like they did, did before, and we will just join the stream of this, uh, this market uh, ignition. Yeah, they'll, they'll try to help you a little bit to get it popular. Exactly. I'm not worried.